Travis Wayne Goodzo, Church News Time. The big story of today. Church historians, not scientists, have concluded that Joseph Smith shot John Taylor. Of course they didn't. They biased their investigation. The church does that all the time. They even pay people to create studies to push whatever agenda they want. You know, like porn kills or medical marijuana burns. Whatever they want to get accomplished, they pay to fake a study. And then the local news make it the big news story. Studies find that the church is true. <laughs> Investigation at BYU proves. <laughs> <laughs> students were asked to read, ponder, and pray, and they all got the same feeling. <laughs> That's not too different from what was done here. <laughs> and what's even more disastrous is that the church refuses to post the picture with the dials still on the pocket watch. They're using the one with the, the dials pulled off them. <laughs> because nobody, they didn't want anybody to see the time of when it was shut down. So I've got it. It used to be in our manuals. That's why I got it. But uh, I mean, dear God. All this, but they do conclude it was a small projectile that had been lessened in speed somehow. Yeah, because it was from Joseph Smith as he was standing out in the hall and John Taylor was back at the other end of the room by the bed and boom! They will not factor that in. That's not an option for them. Why would Joseph shoot John Taylor, the third president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints? Like I tell you, if you start with a lie, everything you branch off from it is a lie. You cannot produce truth from lie. And the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is the big lie. It's supposed to be the learning of the Jews. No Jesus. And thus, nobody in the church can defend the church soundly. But at least they're getting closer to confirming that it was an inside job. Because you can't just take the bullets, the shots, the balls, because they didn't have bullets back then. They should have known this. <laughs> they didn't even use Joseph Smith's pistol. Nope. Didn't use them. But, uh, This is just, this is poor, to say the least, quality research. I mean, this, I mean, oh my God. It would be laughed off the air if it were an NCIS episode. <laughs> Nobody would want to watch NCIS anymore because of the shame and humiliating embarrassment. First of all, you don't get historians to do research. They don't know the scientific methodology and processes. They go in, they are hired by the church, and yeah, oh my God. Well, I'm not, I've seen a cop show once. 
Really? Wow. So the church has that kind of equipment, do they? Oh, dear God. And he, John Taylor's own testimony, dear God. John Taylor later wrote, In the pocket, the fragments of the glass were found literally ground to powder. It then occurred to me that a ball had struck me at the time I felt myself falling out the window. What do you mean falling out the window? You crawled under the bed. <laughs> then Willard Richards dragged your body after shooting you apparently just one more time, potentially two. <laughs> and it is two because the ball shot him in the watch. Out into the back cell where the hay was and he covered him up in the hay. How could he fall out the window if he's in the hay by Willard Richards? What's going on? <laughs> Dear God, but a ball is your big tip off. Even though falling out the window contradicts Willard Richards. Because <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be Joseph who fell out the window and then was shot. These guys just lie, and they don't expect anybody to read these testimonies. But uh, the mob, church is still claiming the mob did it. The mob had rifles. Rifles pack a bigger punch than a pistol. You pack in the powder. Pack in the ball, aim, fire. Pack in the powder, pack in the ball, aim, fire. They're too long to fit in the hallway. Yes, I'm sure you could get one and it'll fit in the hallway as it touches either end of the hall. <laughs> but you got to factor in the human who has to hold it. There's so much forensic investigation of the crime scene that they're just purposely ignoring because they need to protect John Taylor. That's the whole purpose of this. They hired the church history historians to the rescue to prove that Travis is wrong. <laughs> that it wasn't an inside job. I mean, the, the clue that it's not the right name of the church is the biggest of all clues. Why are they calling it the wrong name of the church? They're the missionaries. They're supposed to get the name right. <laughs> They're not supposed to tell people that the Book of Mormon is another testament of Jesus. They're supposed to be telling people it's a warning for the latter days. For 2023... In some distant future time, when the day that shall burn as an oven shall happen. But nope, they're going around saying, oh, this is the gospel of Jesus. It's exactly like the gospels in the New Testament. See, it's plagiarized, which means it's true. <laughs> no! Oh, dear God. Yeah, here's their legal loophole. Historians used available forensic methods. <laughs> the church doesn't have any <laughs> to study the watch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This, this magnifying glass is really cool. I can burn an ant with it. God. Oh my god. But yeah, it is not a rifle shot. It's too small. It's a pistol shot from a distance. Dear god, such incompetence. The results of this investigation included hundreds of Digitalized documents. 
are available online in the Church History Catalog for the low, low price of 50 bucks a document. It's a sales promotion. Dear God, well, we got to pay them somehow. You have to sign in to view. <laughs> they don't want the regular average person to see the evidence. Uh huh. Yes, please tell me more about this conspiracy. Sources in Jennifer Lund's file of examination. Oh, they're exposing the Mormons who were paid to cover this up. Oh, God. Uh, maybe I'm, I'm spoiled, because there's a lot of female forensic investigators on many of the shows that I choose to collect that... I, they obviously do a better job. But yeah, I was taught how to do this right. I mean, I, do you guys not do science fair projects in Utah? <laughs> do you just tell the kids, hey, do a science fair project? Oh, okay. Um, uh, how the Book of Mormon is true. By Cindy Lou Who. <laughs> oh my God. All of it are copyright restrictions. Interpreting John Taylor's watch contains a research and interpretation proposal with highlighted information written by the Church History Department. Doesn't look like it has a... He's come from a wide spectrum of sources. He highlighted. <laughs> oh my god. Get out of my way. It's just two pages. Oh dear god. In September of 2017, CHM document. That's when I first did my investigation, but it was after September. Yeah. It was in November or December. Because it was the Doctrine and Covenants that year, and I was uh, in Sunday school. And my neighbor uh, asked me if I knew that Joseph Smith had a six-shooter, or had a pistol. And I said, yeah, my third great-grandfather is John Solomon Fulmer. It's been passed down to our family that he had a pistol and gave it to Joseph. Oh, did you know he had two? Oh, no, I didn't know he had two. So I began to do the research on Carthage Jail to find out more, and then went, oh, crap. And I stopped, and I went to the beginning. Because that's where Vecini told me to go, and that's where I go. Back to the beginning. <laughs> I went to Joseph Smith Sr., married to Lucy Mack in Vermont, with their kids. And began working my way forward from there. Finding out the meaning of the baby names. Finding out his religion. Finding out about Freemasonry both the Scottish Rites and the York Rites, learning all about them and the rules and procedures, and found out that it had to be prior to 9-11-18-26. Etc, etc, etc. Canandaigua, New York. So, did I get a copy of this? No, I did not. Dear God. 
brother Sally raises several legitimate concerns about this thematic approach. Um, this approach is biased. <laughs> And socks? <laughs> oh my god! You see, they, the Mormons have spread around the myth that supposedly the three who got shot by Joseph's three of six balls had a curse placed upon them by God. <laughs> they were punished by God with horrifying deaths <laughs> no <laughs> fake news <laughs> it's just faith promotion stories <laughs> and the mob had nothing to do with it they were acquitted all the evidence that they could come up with minus Willard Richards and John Taylor's testimony <laughs> Because they didn't show up. <sighs> Nobody from the church was involved. It was the three accused who got shot, so they knew who did it, supposedly. And there was a witness who saw the mob in blackface. John Taylor and Willard Richards weren't in blackface. If John Taylor fell out the window, wouldn't they have known that he was needing to be shot? <laughs> Seriously. It's Joseph! Get him! Oh, it's, it's not Joseph. Didn't they go back up to make sure the room was cleared? Just so many problems when you trust witness testimonies and, and testimonials of people involved. Because they lie. And so you got to look at the crime scene and the factual evidence and assemble the pieces together to get the big picture. But, oh my God. In turn, our maintenance team, <laughs> they had the janitors. terminology <laughs> Oh my god Oh this is just a big F Oh my god. <laughs> I can't go on. <laughs>